Hey everyone, it's Hammy Lux, and today I thought I would do a quick cage tour of Sweet Pea's cage. So right up front, she still has her little cute hamster air freshener, and you can get these at Petco, and you can hang them in your car, but I just decided to tape it on her cage. Just right here in the corner are these cute little flower gel clings top on the tank I just secured this kebab this actually used to be Casper's kebab but he does not use this one so I thought I would give it to Sweet Pea for now and I just secured it through the um, part right here as you can see right here I just put the ribbon through the little hole and then just made like a little knot on top so I could hang it for her. And on the back of her tank, not on the inside, I got this really cute gift wrap paper from my local Five and Below store. Um, I thought it was a really cute theme and it also goes with something that I have in her cage so I thought it would be perfect for this month. Also, she enjoys the KT clean and comfort bedding the most. She loves snuggling in this. I tend to see she doesn't really dig much when I have Aspen bedding in there for her. So I thought I would give her the KT clean and cozy bat for this month. So this month I thought I would switch her back to her igloo and I finally had finally found a pink one that I've been looking for for like ever. Now she has her pink igloo and just on top is her tropical fiddlesticks that I just made into like a bridge type so she can go up there or go in the corner. And then just underneath she has this cute little apple orchard stick and I've had this in there for a very long time and she's just now starting to really kind of nibble on it. Um, my hamsters are not too fond of these but I just leave one in there in case. Um, and then she has this cute little eggplant 3D chew that I also use for the guinea pigs. They, uh, they have their own set. Um, but Sweet Pea actually enjoys these as well. And Sweet Pea is sleeping in her igloo right now. Um, so then just over here, um, like I showed in my last video, all of my hamster's favorite chews. Um, this is a By All Living Things cupcake sprinkle mineral chew and this was full with sprinkles and she just absolutely loves these so I definitely keep that in there for her. Just right over here in the corner I put her little polka dot bucket. It's actually like this and I try to hide all of this part because I don't want her to chew on that but she has not been chewing on that so that is good. Um, but this is what I was saying earlier. Um, it's the polka dots and when I saw the gift wrap at um, the store, I thought, oh, that is perfect because her bucket is the same design as um, the background I wanted to do. So I thought that was perfect. He loves going in here to cool off and as you can see, she's actually stored some food in there. Just right here, I have a Petco pencil chew that I just keep in there for her. And then I have this uh, brick type looking tunnel that I actually found at Goodwill. Right here down the middle, I kind of divided it with her DIY platform that I made. Since everything is so colorful in the cage, I thought I would put it back in there for her this time. So she can go on top of it or underneath and go through it. And just on top, I have her little red round dish and then just right here I had it actually underneath but um, it's just one of her willow balls and then right here on the back of the tank I switched up her puzzle playground piece and just made it a little bit longer and just in front of it is her ecotrician snack shack log um, that I just put right here so the puzzle playground doesn't tip over because she did tip it over one night so I just tend to kind of leave it right here. And right here in the middle I just have her wooden barrel chew. Right here leading to where her water bottle is I put this 
edible twig tunnel and this is also from one of my last videos that I talked about she loves chewing on these as you can tell right here and then just over here is her 8 inch junior rodent wheel then just right here is her water bottle and this water bottle I got from Walmart and it's just attached to a water bottle holder that I got from Petco and I just got some heavy duty velcro strips and hung it on it like that just right here in the corner this is actually where she washes herself so I don't really tend to put anything in that corner for her because she likes going back there so and it looks like she took her toothbrush whimsy chew in the corner and her little treat that she got last night so thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed Sweet Pea's Cage for this month and I will see you guys soon bye